In this video, I wanna talk about the movie, The Giver. I know it's a little bit different from the other anime content that I have on the channel, but it is still movie related and there are a couple of concepts that I wanna talk about throughout the movie. Um, my mom kinda of gave me this idea after talking with her the other day and it's gonna be addressing the word alexithymia and emotions. So that's basically gonna be the concept around this movie. The reason why this came up was because right now um, we're having, and I, this may be sad, so I mean, if you guys are prone to sadness, maybe click off this video right now. But basically we're having to put my dog down uh, this coming week basically, because she's just not doing as well as she once was. Um, she may look healthy right here in this photo video, which she kind of is, um, but she's been with us for 16 years. So in dog years, that's about 80. And I was asking my mom, I was like, why do we have to feel this way? Why do we have to have these emotions? Like, why can't we just be numb to the world? Like, what if we didn't have to deal with this human experience? And that's when she brought up the point of like, well, do you remember the movie, The Giver, where it's just like they were in this like black and white, they're having to take these pills, they're having to take all these different like aspects within themselves to make sure that they were suppressed so that it would neg negate war, anger, hostility, and it, they lived in like a quote unquote perfect society. And then once the main character stopped taking the pills and the medicine, he started to see the world for what it truly was. And that's said within the trailer as well too, is like you may think that you know everything. I thought that I knew a lot of things, but it's just like I've come to realize that like until I started to feel my emotions, this right here was how I was seeing the world. And now that I've started to feel my emotions, it's like this is how I see the world in much more color. And that's the idea that my mom gave me. And I figure like if she gave me that idea, maybe it'll help you guys out as well too, because it's been things that I have been struggling with myself with understanding my emotions, why we feel the th ways that we do. And it's something that once you become more in tune with your emotions, like it's a lot easier to say, move on through life, detach, and like just have overall well-being. At least that's what I've been able to find from my personal perspectives. So I wanted to share a couple of things with you. So it's like the giver is really about a society with citizens who have no memory of the past except for individuals known as the receivers of memory. Just to give a little background on the giver itself. Citizens are not given freedom of choice. Without choice, the elders of society believe they can prevent negative emotions such as war and poverty. And this is the downside to like when you do suppress your emotions. Like, yeah, sure, you can like remove war and poverty, but like you also lose your humanity in the process as well too. Like you, you miss out on all these great things that could have happened, like falling in love, having a family, like getting to decide where you go, like what parts that you have. And if you hear a vacuum in the background, I do apologize to people that clean my apartment are vacuuming the hallways right now. Because there's another part as well too, where it's like Lowry, the author of The Giver, attempts to awaken each and every reader to the dangers that exist with when people's opt for conformity over individuality and for unexamined securities over freedom. It's like we have all these building blocks and there's one last thing and then we'll dive right on in. Is like, what is the main point of The Giver is to protect people from pain. Like protecting people from pain can be taken too far. As the people in Jonah's community, like they're sheltered from physical discomfort and emotional turmoil, as I was talking about at the beginning, through a combination of propaganda and medication, but they miss out on most of life's joys as well. And this is something that I've come to realize, like it sucks sometimes feeling emotions and like having to let like certain aspects that you love, that you've grown up with like your entire life that have been with you forever, such as my dog, maybe you have a dog, family member, any sort of area in your life, like you have to let go of those things. It's like she's moving, but like she doesn't, like she doesn't sleep and maybe you have a dog or maybe you have some somebody else in your life right now where it's just like they aren't doing the things that like like they, they just aren't themselves anymore like sure they're still in there but it's like they're also like a different person in a sense and this is what happens when like you don't feel the emotions like if you numb yourself so just to let me uh, so basically like when you numb your emotions it's considered alexithymia and when you have alexithymia it's this whole concept where basically it's like it's a term described describing people with feelings and emotions, it's like loosely translated into like, there's no words for emotions. So I took it as like, you're being colorblind to your emotions. So before he had the clear vision of being able to have his emotions, it was all black and white for him. As he started to progress and change, his world started to become more colorful. Same thing for myself. Like you can't have joy if you don't have sorrow. You can't have sorrow if you don't have joy. You can't have happiness if you don't have sadness. You can't have misery if you don't have, what's the opposite of misery? Um, fulfillment let's say it's like you can't have one without the other so it's like when you remove all of these aspects and your emotions and you 
going with the crowd and like you have other people dictate what you need to do and how you need to have it and like all these different things because like in the giver he's told where he needs to be at birth like his family's given to him his job's given to him his individuality is taken away from him and it's just like this happens to a lot of us in society right now it's just most of us are very unconscious to it so it's like without having emotions this right here is like how you see the world this is how i saw the world for a certain period of time until i started meditating and having like different different perspectives and ideas but like the meditation was one thing that did help me out but I didn't really understand my emotions like I didn't cry I didn't weep I didn't like feel sadness or sorrow like sure I had like highs but I also didn't like understand like the negative stuff which I was just pushing those negative feelings away and as I started to feel those negative emotions and let them go I was able to finally see like the world as it is like with all this color the green the purples the pinks like the sunrises the sunsets the blues in the water, the greens in the grass, the color of the rocks, the shades, like everything just became more vibrant as I started to like identify and know that I was kind of colorblind with like my emotions. I just didn't understand what they were because there's so, so many emotions. Like, I mean, if you just look at this wheel right now, you can see like happy, it breaks off into like multiple emotions. And then out of those multiple emotions, it breaks off into even more emotions, sad, disgust, anger, fearful, bad, suspicious. Like these right here are considered umbrella emotions. And then you can kind of go down the staff of the umbrella and then you can go even further to identify the exact emotion that you're feeling. These are things that I've been able to work on and have been working on. And I figure like, I want to share it with you because like there's movies out there and this is why I love this channel and why I love all the people that keep coming back and watching the videos over and over again because you guys are seeing these same concepts within these movies and shows that I myself have seen as well too. Like this one, I probably wouldn't have come up with this idea if I wouldn't have gone over and talked to my mom and asked her like, why do we have to feel this way? Why do we have to feel sad? Why can't like things just be great? Like the human experience is just, it's tough. Like we can have a spiritual experience, which I've talked about spirituality and other videos, but it's like, it removes the human element. Like I can have everything within my head, but like having this over here and having to go through like the pain of like, say having a dog and like losing that dog in the process or whatever it may be that you are struggling with and having to let go is like, it's gonna be, it's gonna cause temporary pain and like suffering and sorrow, but it's also like, you gotta remember all those like good times that you had with like the person that you're with or the thing that you've done. But at a certain point, like you gotta go off and live your own life. You gotta go off and do the things that make you happy, that bring you joy. Like this is exactly what the character did near the end of the movie. He's like, I have to leave this town with my brother so that then he can go have a different life. And he ends up at this cabin where it's just like, there's all these other people that have color that weren't like in the society that were being dictated. But it's just like, you have to be that brave, crazy nut that ends up stepping out of the conformity of the rest of society because it really does just take one person. Once you have that one person, then it can lead to two. And then once you have two, you get four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. And it just keeps doubling and compounding from there. But most of the time, most people, from my own personal experience, from what I've been able to see, aren't willing to step out because they're happy conforming to society. And that's exactly what the giver is trying to convey is like, if you conform to what everybody else is doing, you'll be like everybody else. And when you do the things that everybody else has done, you'll always get the exact same things that everybody else has ever gotten. And that's just not the type of life that I've ever wanted to live. Maybe that's not the type of life you want to live. And I have a feeling that it's not if you've been watching my videos for some time. And like, you can overcome these things. Like you can go from like the black and white to the color. You can overcome like the awareness of like maybe having a colorblind to your emotions and like not understanding that, hey, it's okay to have an emotion and it's okay to like say how you feel and set boundaries and like cut off people or let people go from your life because they aren't benefiting you in the way that you want to. Like that's the great part about being an adult. And this is something that I came to find out um, recently, actually, like I didn't understand this for the longest time because like when we grow up and we can like associate this with the givers, like, as I was saying, they're told who they are, the jobs that they have at age 12, the places that they have to be, they're given the family at birth. Like they didn't have any free will of their own at first. And that's basically how every kid is because the kid needs the parent to be able to survive. The kid needs the individual, like the, the parental figure to be able to be like, okay, this is this is where we're going. Like it, you can kind of like imagine it as like when I was like, or when you go on like trips or something like that, if you go on trips, like when I would go on trips as a kid, like I didn't have to pack my suitcase. I didn't have to pack my clothes. I didn't have to like do any of those necessary skills. Like I kind of did a little bit, but not like a whole lot. What I more did was like, it was just like, Hey, we're going to go to Florida. Like, it's like, okay, cool. And you just get up and you go to that, that thing. But like, 
as an adult, you are the one that gets to decide like where you go, what you do, how you behave, the things that you do, the things that you don't do. Like your parents are no longer in control of what you do. And I know that like my audience right now is people in their mid to early 20s, most of them. So like I understood this, like I read a lot of books and I like, as I was saying, like colorblind to my, my, my emotions didn't understand like the beauty that the world had to have and offer. Like when you were able to like sit at a sunset and fully gross yourself into that said moment or like let go and realize that like your dog did serve like the purpose that she needed to serve for that time. And she'll be able to come back because it's like, it's just her spirit. Like if you as like an individual lost an arm or something like that, you don't lose any more aspects of yourself. Like you are still you, but you aren't like you don't lose yourself in that process. And like, sure, it's sad to let go of like these other people that have been with you and that like you've been a part of with your entire life, but like you have to be willing to feel those emotions and let go of certain events or trials or tribulations or stories, primarily stories, which there's gonna be another video that I have coming out here in the coming days as well too around the movie If um, and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. So I highly recommend subscribing to the channel if you aren't already so that you don't miss out on that. But basically it's just like there's this whole idea that like you have to be strong and independent. But it's just like when you become an adult, you have to be the one that takes charge of your life. You have to be the one that decides like, okay, am I going to do this or am I not going to do this? Like, you know what has to be done. I know what has to be done. Some days it's easier. Other days it's not so easy. Like I do the reps every day. As I talked about in I believe the last video that I did on the channel, there's a couple of different videos that I have right now. But like we have these concepts and these ideas where it's just like we have to do the reps and that's something that we are in control of. And once we understand that like we can go from the black and white over to the color, it becomes a lot more freeing. And I never really understood this concept from the giver. Like I just was like, oh, this dude's just being controlled. But it is basically like he's giving life to the rest of humanity, even if humanity doesn't fully understand it at this point in time, that's where he's going to be taking them. Wonderful. If you guys want to learn more about this, and obviously I'm not a psychologist or therapist or anything like that, but these are just words and ideas that I have learned from psychology and therapists that I have listened to. So I want to share these ideas and concepts with you as well, because I have like other stories that will resonate more with you because I never heard the analogy of going from the giver to the non-giver um, or like from going from black and white to color. It's just, it, it gives you a much more free in life. So I want to share that with you and I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll talk soon.